Uh, my first comment is, I think the beginning of this wonderful to be meeting proves a point. I know that the computer people and the psychiatrists are in cahoots, and that for every patient sent to the psychiatrist by the computer system, there's a feed, uh, rebate given to them. And I believe this was well done. Uh, in trying to summarize Alec Delgarno's contributions, I, I, came, I, I came to the conclusion, really, what Alex has done is to provide rational understanding across a broad variety of fields. I think Alex is a testimony to the importance of a fundamentally strong basic knowledge in science so that one can deal rationally with this universe one is immersed in. And so I, I could extend this, but I think this conference really summar will summarize just that. His contributions are really always rational, quantitative, and exciting. I was uh, told I can make a comment, uh, you know, not only praising Alex, but about interstellar chemistries. And my remark is that it's really quite interesting. As one looks at the observed species, which, is, uh, which are easy to find, uh, one sees that with diatomic species, the, mo the vast majority of those are just inorganic molecules. And so they're not really very interesting, one might say. As one gets to five atom molecules, there's only one non-organic one, uh, a silicon tetrahydride or silane, and there are 17 organic ones. With six atoms or larger, they're all organic. They're none are inorganic. And if one says, what does this mean? What is the deeper meaning of this? I think the deeper meaning is organic molecules are awfully easy to form. Organic polymers do form under the most hostile of conditions. Really, there's no organization in the interstellar medium. It's the, least, the most helter-skelter. And so if one asks then, one, what happens? One has organic polymers growing easily. One has inorganic systems forming crystals, which are sort of information-free. They're too regular to provide any information. So I think this has a lot of bearing on the question of the origin of life. If one asks, when does, you know, what is the origin of life? Clearly, the answer is not that an elephant crawls out of the ocean. It's much simpler than that. And the fact that organic molecules, uh, organic polymers form so readily says it's going to be, they will form under almost any circumstance. The exact mechanism, of course, is of tremendous interest. But the point, my point here is that really it's going to be very hard to pin down at what point one says, yes, life has begun at this point. So I think the um, interstellar chemistry shows us organic polymers form readily, and I think this will extrapolate to lots of other reasons. I do not want to burn up more time in this because Eileen van der Kirk has a lot to say to us. So I sit down.